Ask Reddit. What is something women think men find hot, but it's actually a turn off? Playing hard to get. As a man, I've always detested this. I see it too much like begging. My general rule has been to ask once. If the answer was no then I moved on. Did I miss out on someone because of it? Yes. Did I miss out on someone that was worth begging over? No. There is no woman worth my self-respect. This right here. Then the women get mad because they wanted us to try harder and they would've said yes. Nope. We don't like wasting time as much as you don't want us wasting yours. Helplessness. It does not make me feel more like a man to help you through a bunch of simple bullshit daily tasks and listen to you agonize over minor, forgettable issues. It makes you look like a useless complaint factory. Am I your man or your dad? I'll fuck you or your mom. Big one. If you don't like me at my worst, then you. Bullshit if you can't handle me at my diddlyst, then you don't deserve me at my diddlyst. Ned Flanders. Acting dumb. Whether they are actually smart or not, that doesn't mean you can't have a conversation and ask questions, rather than to think it's funny or cute. Yeah, it's an insult to us girls who are actually dumb. Edit. Grandma. The edit killed me. It's perfect in context of your comment. Fake moaning or orgasms. Making someone come is a real turn on for me, so when I can tell someone is clearly faking it, it cheapens my reward and it's a bit of a turn off. I usually just switch it up and focus on myself so it can be over. The thing is women find it easier to get aroused when they are getting into the action. Even if it's a fake moan it can help them to actually get a real orgasm. If instead of fake moaning they just lay completely still and do nothing then that shit helps nobody. Or you're with a type that doesn't explain to you what they need, so it's a guessing game. I have always felt that, but could never put it into words thank you, that's totally true for me. It's like how they say, even if you fake a smile it'll put you in a better mood. Of course you should always communicate, if something isn't working, but sometimes just playing along can take an experience from meta enjoyable. I'm Loki crazy. I'm a bit of a psycho sometimes oh, well good luck finding someone who can deal with that. I had an ex who saw a post about what happens in an abusive relationship and she circled everything she did to me and said oh wow I do a lot of this stuff to you lol and it was the wake up call I needed. I broke up with her the next week and don't regret it. Baby voice. I don't know how it ever became a thing but it needs to stop. Took me years to get my wife to stop talking like she was 3. I asked her why she did it and had no good answer. She then asked why it bothered me. Well I mean listening to someone talk like a kid for an hour off and on and then going to the bedroom expecting something to happen either means I'm a pedo or I don't give a shit anymore. Reading most of these comments, too big boobs, too small, too needy, too much teasing, etc. I can dig most of these things just fine, as long as the woman is authentic in who she is. Women who are reading these comments and thinking, oh, I have to not be like that, are missing the point. I want a woman who knows who she is and is happy with it. Feeling like you have to be something different is the real turn off. I feel like this is probably an unpopular opinion one, but mine is. Blow jobs when you aren't enjoying giving them. Like 99.999% of guys, I love a good blowjob, but for me what really makes or breaks it isn't how talented she is, it's how much she's into it. Like 75% of the pleasure I get from sex is seeing my partner enjoying themselves, so if you're not feeling it, or they're not your thing, I'd rather we do something else, otherwise I just kinda feel like I'm imposing. At the very least let 69 or something, so it's not such a one-sided thing. On the other hand, if like me, you get pleasure out of seeing your partner enjoying themselves, and that's why you like giving them, or you just like giving them in general, then hell yeah. But if it's not your thing, I'd rather we find something that is. I don't feel like sex should ever feel like a chore for either person involved. Much more fun, when you're both loving every moment of it. I'm with you totally. The psychology of a woman who enjoys my dick in her mouth is the turn on for me. Not so much the physical stimulus. If you don't enjoy it, for whatever reason then don't do it. Some guys are assholes, so I get it, but I won't make you or beg you to do it. I sure as hell won't lick your pussy and then say your turn. You owe me 15 minutes of head so get busy. LOL. Being emotionally manipulative, rewarding us with good behavior. As if they are behavioral scientists and we are the experiment. 
fuck off please. Saying things in your sad voice doesn't make me any more likely to help you. Assuming I pick up all your signals when you kinda ignore all of mine. Talk. Communicate. Be an adult. These are just grasps of past relationships. Rewarding with good behavior fucking well said. Fuck that shit. It's kind of ify when it comes to sex, though. I'm not going to want sex if I'm mad at slash fighting with my partner. I'm not purposely withholding it to get my way. I'm just not going to force myself to have sex when I don't want to. Conversely, I'm more likely to want it when I'm happy with my partner. Not because I'm rewarding it but because I'm, yeah, happy with them. I can see how it would come off as a punishment slash reward when it's not in some cases. Teasing and trying to make us jealous. This. My ex once sat besides a guy who I really hate, who also was the perpetual third wheel, in an effort to make me jealous. I did notice it, but didn't feel anywhere close to jealous cause I was busy doing some important class walk. She, after a few days, confesses to me via text that she intended to make me jealous that day, and when I ask why, I don't know, is what she replies. SMH. Heavy amounts of Macube. The thread is things women think men like but men don't. Women don't think men like makeup. Most of the time when women wear Macube bitters, because society has primed us to believe that women naturally look like that. Therefore whenever a woman goes out without Macube they will get a lot of people asking if she is sick or get told they look wrong. A co-worker of mine had an emergency and had to come to work without any Macube and someone asked if she had cancer. Acting bubbly slash forcefully cute. It's childish and a complete turn off because I would like to date a woman, not a girl. It's also unmistakably fake and I can see right through it. Be yourself. On this topic as well, it's a massive turn off if a woman acts stupid. I've only known a couple of women who do this, but it's not cute, it's not attractive, it's nauseating. There's that word again, cute. Just in general ladies, stop trying to be cute. Part of why I prefer middle aged women is because they act like the grown women they are. I want to date and marry a woman who I can see as the mother of our children, not someone who I would feel more natural introducing as my kid sister. Well this is highly subjective. Cute girls are preferred by a lot of guys including me. Smart and cute girls are best girls emo. There's a difference in trying to be cute and just being cute because it's who you are. Some girls try hard to be cute and that's the turn off. Being obsessed with social media. I cannot handle when people have perfectly curated social media feeds that only feature them, narcissism, or seek out insta shots, or spend the majority of their lunch time just scrolling feeds, or going through snapchat. Maybe it's just me, but I've deleted all that stuff, and feel it's an incredibly disingenuous way to live your life. I didn't see a problem with this until one day I was at a club and saw a group of girls all on their phones looking bored, but as soon as one of them said I'm gonna film an egg story they started dancing and singing and drinking then, when she stopped filming they all just went back to their phones, like damn you're at an exclusive club in Manhattan drinking for free you shouldn't have to pretend to have fun, unless you're incredibly boring. I was looking for someone to say this, acting withdrawn, arrogant, unimpressed or just completely uncaring. I find it attractive sometimes, if a woman is apathetic to an extent, or withdrawn from some things, but to act it and or be completely secluded, not look at, or talk to anyone. Because you're that unimpressed and uninterested by anything, it's very uninviting. It comes off as unapproachable, intimidating, if I'm honest. HMM where do I start? This ridiculous block eye bro fashion. Just fucking leave them alone. Fake tan and looking orange, when the neck is a different color from the face. Playing dumb about knowledge of things thinking it's cute. Dog filters on snapchat. Too much makeup I prefer a more natural look makeup can be okay, but overdo it, and you look like a, I don't know terrible. Including painted on eyebrows. WTF is that all about? Being materialistic and caring way too much about pop culture slash tv slash whatever. It's such a turn on when a woman is really passionate about something slash many things. Doesn't matter what, generally. I'm interested. Let's talk about it. Big boobs or big asses. After a certain point it is too much. Also twerking. 
It is not sexy to look at, because it looks like you're trying to summon the gods of yonder to bring you rain. Also, women being timid, shy, or quiet because it is womanly, and guys will like it. I find it stupid, and it tells me you're unable to speak or say what you want. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like comment, and subscribe to be entered into our iMac giveaway. <laughs>